Morning folks, Wednesday morning. Uh, as you can see, we got that on the stands, one of the stands I made yesterday. Pleased with that. Thank you for your comments and uh, likes, etc. from yesterday's video. I'm more, much appreciated. So we're just down here early. Got a lot to do today. Uh, we've been, uh, well, I'll show you these bits that uh, were roughly cut yesterday. Just got guillotined up to size. Uh, we've got them marked out. We've got the holes drilled down the edge. Uh, I've got a template here, so I know exactly where everything's got to go. And I say, uh, I probably saw yesterday, but apprentice got all of these folded up. Took her a bit of time, but they're all done. Just got to be drilled, and then we'll cut to length and uh, the other bits we can start making some steps. But whether or not it'll happen today, we'll see. So, um, yeah, be good to get that going. It's nice to see that on the move, but we got to go off and uh, get an MOT done shortly, so a couple of hours out. So, now we're down here, MOT, just waiting to get the simulator put on the back of this artificial weight. Done the front weights. Just do the back ones now, so just go and get the uh, manager to get that thing put on here. Video's yeah, got some bad news for you. Have you actually? Yeah. Nah, you fucking haven't. You're having me on. I got some bad news. I got a partial PG9. Have you actually? Yeah. I got a broken U bolt, seat belt, you need four new tyres. Nah, no, I know you're on now. <laughs> <laughs> you're all past. No, all past. Uh, we're on site. Got an Atachi slew here. Working under load a bit when you use the hydraulics. So we'll uh, go through the fuel system and see what's happening. But we have just spotted one thing straight away. Fuel pipe there. I've got good eyes. There's a zip tie there. Apprentice spotted that one. Is it pinched a bit too much with that zip tie? We'll cut it off and try it. Got the lift pump off. There is a gauze in the inlet, which there was a bit of crap in there. But everything else, the uh, non-return valve in there that seems to be okay as you can hear it sort of makes a noise like somebody's farting no names mentioned so uh yeah we've eliminated that one so we'll have to go back and uh, put it on and try it so we're back in here Prince is busy uh, drilling the holes in the treads ready for plug welding them together i'll just change the tooling in this ready to make some more inlet grills There's some uh, nice tooling in a very deep deep v to get a very tight fold We've done the uh, ones for the side of the steps over there. Got the folds in those, so progress. And I'm gonna go back up and have another look at this um, slew again in a minute, because we drew a blank, but after a couple of phone calls, we've got something else we can, uh, uh, yeah, have a look at. So uh, I'll leave her to the boring job. Well, that's all set up. Done a couple of test folds on a little bit of waste metal. And we've done the first one. We wouldn't get that in a normal uh, folder because it wouldn't go tight enough. Hence a very tight V and a very fine blade. So yeah, that should be about right. So I'll get the rest done, and then we'll put the bends on the other end. All right, we're back here again. Plan B. There's a port in here. Well, obviously this pipe went on. And in that fit in there, there's a tiny hole, and it's blocked. So we've got to blow it out with an air light and see what happens after that, because I had actually no suction or pressure on the pipe that I was connected to when the engine's running. Hmm. Going back on making the front grills. Got the holes drilled, the bends done for the bottom part of it. We're just going to start on the top ones. And we've got a printer's a new job. Just got all the holes drilled in the treads, clamp them together, and just going to have a go at well, clamp welding these together. That'll keep her busy. Won't it? Yeah. Good. Done? No, just got to fill that one in a bit. We've well, done one there. That's alright. Go get the hang of it, tell you finished. You have to make some more. Well, well, several hours later, <laughs> she's actually got it right. Look at this. That's quite a tidy job, that. Well done. Practice makes perfect. What have we got? Done three, you got another one to go. Should be a perfectionist before you've done that. <laughs> Well, it's a bit of a bugger. I had a template, can't find it. So I've had to make a new one. So that's for the end pieces on there. Not a five minute job to make it, but it's universal for that side and then reversible for that side. Uh, anyway, she's got those done. Just gonna have the grinder and clean the edges up. Um, we've got uh, somebody in the orange down there busy getting the sticker off the door for that 1200. 
And, uh, yeah, productive morning so far. After a lot of faffing around and making another template, shame I lost the first one. Got that side uh, sat in there, and the other side there is looking pretty comfortable. So we'll get that welded together. Now we've got things sorted, we can uh, get in a couple more made. I've only got another piece of that um, mesh folded up though, but we can uh, soon get some more folded up. So yeah, happy with that, happy with that. And just another day in paradise. So yeah, some bits to go. I'm gonna post some bits off to Denmark and Scotland now for a customer that they've paid up. So we'll get that uh, off and away. So that'll do for today. And then another busy day tomorrow again. So catch you later.